Which is elementary school? Home of the Accelerated Learning Program, Town. Come in and take a look. Bridges Elementary School provides an exemplary educational program for gifted and talented students in grades 3 through 6. Higley's program for accelerated learning, HPAL, joins identified gifted and high achieving students with a platform aimed to take students to a deeper, more rigorous way of thinking. Each grade level's accelerated curriculum is designed to challenge students through differentiated instruction. High ability students will benefit from accelerated learning, specially trained teachers, and opportunities for special projects. Students will be prepared for and offered accelerated pathways in both middle school and high school. I like to be in the HPAL program because I feel like it really pushes me and my fellow classmates to our limits and shows us our true potential of what we can really do. And PBL, Project, project Based Learning, really helps us learn information for ourselves instead of just sitting in a classroom and reading a textbook all day long which is really boring. We actually get to build and create things. I also kind of felt like in other schools before the HPL program, I was like the star student of the class and I got a ton of attention and I didn't really like all that attention. But here I feel like all of the other students have felt like that before and we're all at the same level and no one's really the best and so I just think that this is the right place for me. Here at HPAL we like to do fun things with the younger kids. Right now we're doing something called an Ozobot. So, Ozobots are little robots that like to read, that read codes, like color books. So they'll follow a black line, and they'll once they see different colors, for this instance, if they see blue, green, blue, they'll do turbo. Or there's also like red, black, red that will make it go slow. Or there's even special codes like green, red, green, red, which makes it spin. That's what we like to do. That's what we like to do here. I like HPAL because it gives us um, time to um, learn about um, other things instead of just a test where you stay and and think of one subject and study for that subject. But instead, HPAL it lets you create and expand your thinking and. So um, you just um, like learn other things about um, your topic so you don't have to just think of one subject day by day. I am here today to talk about the HPRO program. It is an advanced learning class that pushes students to work harder and more focused and working together more. This is an example, it's the prosthetic limb. We did this in PBL and work problem. Um, we made a prosthetic arm and it during PBL time and it teaches us to um, face real world problems because many people don't have arms and stuff and they don't have the money to buy new stuff because they're really expensive so we were uh, thinking about building one out of like recycled products and all that so we wanted to challenge the students in the HPAL pro uh, program to look at a real world problem and that was all the people in the world that are amputees from all the different ways that that can happen. And we looked at and listened to some clips from different scientists and doctors uh, about creating prosthetic limbs and in science we'd been working on the human body. So we thought well what better way to kind of use our skills about the human body than to apply 
um, the way our body works to making prosthetic limbs. In the HPAL program in general, that's kind of what we're doing. We're taking the skills that they're learning and the standards that they have to know and saying, okay, how does this apply to real life? How can we solve the problems? And with this PBL time, we're really given time to sort of give them a hands-on approach at, you know, we'll create something, create something that someone can use. And it's really interesting to watch our students. You know, I was listening to them. I got the idea of, well, we, we need to create ligaments. Well, what looks like a ligament? A rubber band. And then I took that and said, all right, well, what looks like a ligament to you guys? Because I actually heard the students figuring this out on their own and getting there and asking the questions themselves and being little mini engineers with what they had. And if you give them the materials and you give them those basic skills, in the HPAL program, we allow them to run with it and use it and go further than you know they would be able to go otherwise. We take that pen and pencil kind of out of their hands and say, no, here's materials, build, use something, create something. HPAL program because I really like the speed. Um, I also really like the challenges of the learning and I really like how we're in an accelerated learning program. I like how we're learning sixth grade or uh, upper grade when you're in the grade, for example, fifth grade learning sixth grade stuff. I also like helping the youngsters with, cre with creativity and also uh, stuff maybe HPAL might do. Like, for example, Ozobots. Ozobots we did the Ozobots with kindergartners one time and that was really fun. I really like I really like the creativity and since we're helping the kindergartners or the youngsters, they they might be in the HPL in the future and they might already know. Our 21st century learners are capable of engaging and learning at a whole new level. We focus on the four C's, critical thinking, creativity, communication, and collaboration. Application of these vital skills also requires a technology-infused environment. Join us here at the Bridges to see how technology is changing the way we teach and learn. Come join us here at Bridges Elementary. You have lots of fun with your challenge every day. What do Bridges students say? Bridges!